You're on my land. Get off. I said, stand up. You know, I was figuring on just sitting here in my own parlor and resting a spell, so why don't you take your little boys in blue and go along? Good, you can give me that right. Help yourself. Where'd you get this? Mm. I said, where'd you get it? Captain, that is none of your damn Yankee business. What kind of a rebel butcher are you? Well, now, you blue bellies got a law against killing Apaches? Get up on your feet. Well, look, it's a long ride to Fort Davis. Get your saddle. And you can walk or ride. It's your choice. Either way, you're going with me. Church people you butchered up there? They were patches. Where'd you get this gun? Colonel, I already gave your pup my answer to that. Now, do you want it direct? Now, this is important. It's more important than your private honor, your private war. Now, where did you get the gun? Well, Colonel, you're so interested in that gun. Why don't you just keep it? And I'll be going. You do, and I'll blow the top of your head off. <clears throat> Go ahead. Major Lassner, have you gone completely mad? Major. Well, don't let that stop him. It was in the Confederate Army. How does anyone get to you? How do I get inside those, those twisted guts of yours? You don't. No, I guess not. Massacring those burial parties proves it. <sighs> Colonel. You are an old man. Yes, but still a man and not a blood-crazed butcher. Oh, Lassiter. It's been almost a year since your wife and your daughter were... No, no, you listen. Do you think I don't know what it means for a man to come home and find his wife and child dead? Dead? All right. Tortured and then... But it's been almost a year. You're not looking for revenge against Bloodshirt anymore. You're using that as an excuse to go on killing. Well, I'm going to stop you. Colonel, what are you going to charge me with? You're an animal. And an animal belongs in a cage. Now, either you tell us where and from whom you got that gun, or I'm going to throw you in the guardhouse till you rot. Now, where did you get it? Well, I guess you do want it direct. My answer is still, it's none of your damn Yankee business. Sergeant, lock him up. Yes, sir. The charge is possession of stolen government property. Yes, sir. You're not going to get anything out of that drink, sodden rebel. Well, maybe not. Well, what do we do now, So We just sit around here and wait? Is that it? Have any better ideas, Captain? Yes, sir. The time has been running out on us, and I've scoured all over Texas, and I came up with one gun out of that whole shipment. The rest of them must be down there in Mexico by now. Well, that is out of the question. Any of our troops cross the border, Mexico will be justified in declaring war. I don't mean sending a whole army down there, sir. Just two men, Sergeant Franklin and myself, out of uniform. Out of uniform? Yes, sir. And how do you intend to find the guns? Bait. 
gunpowder, a whole wagon load. And once we get down there, if we can't bring those guns back, well, we destroy them. And how do I explain to Washington that the officer who lost those guns is now roaming around Mexico trying to hand over a wagon load of gunpowder? Forget it. Yes, sir. I fell on Hey, listen, I told you, you take that, huh? Yeah, you eat it. It's good much for you. <laughs> oh, I have interrupted your sleep. I am very sorry. Hey, permit me to apologize by offering you a drink, eh? Sutler's whiskey, eh? And I just traded the watch of my father for it. You were cheated. Eh, perhaps not. They say it is a lucky child that knows its own father. Eh, permit me. I am Juan Luis Rodriguez. You sure? <laughs> Last time it was Martinez. I see that. But this is impossible. It is you, amigo. Alive and the same? You think I'm a ghost? Uh, from what one hears now among certain Indians, one could think Lassiter is an evil spirit. Uh, you trading with the Apaches now? Uh, uh, when a man buys and sells, he cannot always choose his customers. Hey, amigo, when I was Martinez, you remember? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three card money and a cold deck. Well, how a man gets his money does not matter. It is how he spends it, amigo. Martinez was a king, you remember? The French girl, eh? Remember? Cherie, je t'attends, comme tu es belle. You know, she was of the noble blood, that one. Had I married with her, amigo? That one little mistake, that's all. Some little mistake. Hmm. You shot Maximilian's military attaché. Well, see, but they were his pistols. The duel was fair, amigo. When a man shoots the way you do, that's murder. Hey, what is going on there? Oh. Well, compadre, what we talked about, that is all in the past. Two old friends like us, we meet in such a place as this, huh? You in bad trouble, amigo? No, nothing. Huh. The same with me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, who's all that for? What, that? For me. Well, now, I didn't know they could hang you for trading with Apaches. Oh, no, no, they say it is for fighting. And that is unjust. This soldier had a gun, I had only a knife, that's all. And the soldier had a wife. Ah, amigo, such a wife. Mm. Uh, but I have always been unlucky. Locked up here, I cannot even console the poor widow. What a shame. Mm. come to the fort every day. I will have a large audience for my hanging. <laughs> eh, see, I will die, but it is you who I pity, amigo. You will go loco in this place. The gringo commands his wise. Eh. <laughs> he knows how easy it would be for you to die. Hey, perhaps if you talk to him, we could change places, eh? He's a fool. See? Si. And you're a fool.
Well, I've been one long enough. Hey, you blue donkey. Huh? I want to see the colonel. Adios, amigo. so important about this gun? On February 10th, six escorted wagons left the arsenal at St. Louis. On March 1st, they were ambushed and the wagons stolen. Even against the Indians? <laughs> well, the quality of Yankee troops has not improved. They were ambushed by white men. The wagons carried 2,000 new repeating rifles, and yours is the first one to turn up. Well, Colonel, I bought the gun. In Presidio. You bought it? Who from? Last year. This command contains 300 men. Now think what happens when we're faced with 2,000 Apaches armed with better weapons than we have. Or think what it means to those families out there. Women, children. Well, Colonel... The man's name is Theron Pardee. Pardee? One of Bedford Forest's guerrilla raiders? Gallant leader of Southern Cavalry and my last commanding officer. Is he still in Presidio? Sir, that was over a month ago. He could be just about any place. Could he be across the border in Chihuahua? Who knows? But you could find him. Now, why would I want to do that? The memory of your wife and daughter? Or because it's your only way out of here? Well, Colonel, if I could find Pardee, what then? Go on home, wherever you want. Captain Haven will take over from there. Captain Haven. Just the two of us? Well, you'll have your sergeant along. Oh, I see. That Yankee and his black and me. Now, Colonel, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but what's to prevent me from getting a bullet in the back of my head about one second after I point him toward Pardee? The captain will be under orders. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but that's just not good enough. I want a man of my own along. Who? Rodriguez? Rodriguez? That half-breed cutthroat sitting in the guardhouse? He knows the country as well as I do and speaks the language better. He's going to be tried and hung for murder. And that's why I know he'll volunteer. Now, Colonel, it's going to be that or nothing. Now, let it be nothing, Colonel. You're not going to saddle me with this but and you that. you do want to undertake the mission, Captain. Well, you know that, Colonel. And I say, in the time we probably have left, he is your only chance, slim as it may be. But if you prefer not to go, there are other officers I can ask to volunteer. That won't be necessary, Colonel. All right. You will give me your word that you will get them there? My word? That's right. <laughs> well, Colonel, for whatever it's worth, you can have it. Be water. Where is it? We've been riding all night. Well, now I thought time was important. You tired, Captain? No. I've been thinking about the horses. Oh. Well, there'd be water for them on up ahead. Well, let's get going. Yes, sir. Anything else, Captain? No. 
There is no water here for at least a full day's ride. You know it, and I know it. I see. The wagon carries something of great value that must be in Mexico pronto, eh? Friend, the only other thing you have to know is the farther we get from that fort, the farther you are from a rope. See, si. and for that I am in your debt, compadre. Forever. See, si, forever. Gracias, gracias. Let's see, tell me, amigo, I need your help. Tell me something. To you, how old do you think I look? Hmm? What? How old do you think I look? What difference it make? But to me, it is very important. How old? Well, how old do you think? Oh, lately, I think I look about just... Uh... Hmm. 25? You agree? Guess again. Dirty? More? Ay, carajo. Uh, but you do not take into consideration. I have had no sleep for two days. That shows on a man. Yes, sir. It sure does. Oh, Dios. Uh... Con permiso, eh? Are we going to eat? Put it out. Hmm? The match, put it out. Si, si, perdone, Capitan. Eh? Ah, bueno. Mm. I am very hungry. Can I help you? Hmm? That smells so delicious. That's enough. Vámonos. Sí, Capitán, sí. Sell some trouble. Bandidos. Bandidos? Are they many? Six I saw for sure. Now get those mules moving! Where's the rifles? Under the seat. Come on. Yeah. Uh -huh. for Presidio, but I believe we got ourselves lost. Now, maybe you could put us on the right track. 
Maybe. We'd be much obliged. Sure. Sure, sure. Um, how long and far you come? All the way out from Rosewell. Well, now, where did they come from? Poof. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big surprise, you know? Hey, 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 you want some more? Dust mask, more poof. Mira. <laughs> it's a more surprise, no? <laughs> Well, big well now, poof and five men. Five men come out of nowhere. El gringo de un leus al poof. ¿Cómo estás, paisanos? Bien, hombre. Ah, ah, una medallón. Qué bonita. Déjala, hombre. Sí. Qué carrita tienes. Hermoso. Muy hermoso. Tú también. He's much a gun, a nice gun. Yes, sir. Did you ever see one like that before? Mm hmm. Never. Well, it's brand spanking new. Uh, too much bullet. You mm know. -hmm. Bang, bang, bang. Too much. That's right. It's a good gun. Here, let me show you. No green combat. Friend of yours? He's number six. Uh -huh. Well, let's take a look and see how many more friends you got around. You first. right into this trap. Well, now, would it have been better for us to go around and have them sitting up here taking pot shots at a wagon load of gunpowder? Then why didn't you shoot this man when you had a chance? If I saw a number six up here, so did you. Drop it! He's got on parts of the same uniform you have. And that's a second stolen repeater we've come across. And it came from the same place, Pardee, who is now going to be hard as hell to find because you were so trigger happy down there. I told you not to move until I did. Sure, I saw him up here. I was looking for a deal. He's one of Pardee's men, and he could have taken us to him. You! Uh, the membrane, huh? <laughs> now, what I want to know from her is how come they found out. How come they were waiting for us? Huh? Come on! Si. Goste. Kaata Isha Benanina. 
I don't think this one will talk. No? Mm -mm. Give me a knife. What knife? I have no knife. I lost it there in the fight below. Look in your shirt. My shirt? Ah, see, see, see. I forgot. I'm sorry, amigo. Now you tell her that I will split her nose so everyone can see how she dirtied herself with a white man. Fiche, Hansi. Dota, I. Nibichi, Bilatka, Deshkish. Aeta, Enta, Shesh. Tito, Otina, E. Oshon, Dust. What she say? It does not matter since we will all die very soon. In three sons' time, all the clans of the Apache will gather to be given a great new medicine. She must mean a trade. You ask her where it's going to take place. Who cares? What's it got to do with me? Everything. Now, the Apaches have been raiding further south than ever before. And they're not interested in picking up any livestock. What they're looking for is gold and jewels. It's going to be a trade, all right. And if we know when and where, we can be there to stop it. So you can be there. All I got to do is find Par D. Maybe you can't or won't. Well, now, you're just going to have to wait and see. Let's go. Well, what about Hunt? <laughs> Shoot it. Or better yet, save the bullet. Now, nobody's touching that girl. She's going with us. Like hell she is. You're not giving any orders. While you're looking for Part D, she just might remember where that trade's going to take place. What harm can she do this little indeed, eh? Ah! You tell her that she's coming along with us. See, mi capitan, see. Si. Eh, ven, muchachita, ven, eh? Hey, Captain. Two of them Indians. Rodriguez. Eh. Apache. Eh, yeah, Membrano clan. And that one, too. Rodriguez. Can you read that? No. If we're parallel to the Rio Grande, they are, too. Apaches and party people are already working together. Sergeant, these mules ready to move. As soon as we bury these men. Who said we were? There isn't time. What about the guns, Captain? Put them on the wagon. <laughs> yeah, but Capitan, I, I have no weapon, only this little knife. You don't need no weapon, and you don't need this. Oh, but Capitan! Franklin, put her on the wagon, too. Yes. You. Mm. You tell her she has nothing to be afraid of. As long as she does what she is told. She might believe you more if you gave her something to eat. You. You opened this last night, huh? See. Si. The fuse is gone. What did you do with it? It lowered the gun, senor, eh? What did you do with it? It's dead. Lariata. The Lariat. See. Si. Ah, mira. Mira, huh? I woke it during the night thinking to hide it better for you that way. When a man sets out on what may be his last ride, he should go with people he trusts, huh? <laughs> I pick a gun for myself and Lassie Terna, huh? No gun for you. You mount them. Well, the reasons for staying with this detail are getting less and less. Well, you just try leaving it. Oh, Captain, you wouldn't shoot an unarmed man. You try me.
spirit. Now all you gotta do is ride down there and tell those Texas Rangers that you got a wagon load of gunpowder you want to get to the other side of the river so you can trade it to the Apache. Buenas tardes, senorita. Buenas tardes, senor. Rodriguez. Huh? Ah. You got any other bright ideas? Yes, sir, I do. But do you know something? I can't remember one of them without my rifle. Franklin? Let me have Lassiter's rifle. Now, the first thing we'll do is see what we can find out about Pardee. You and him and me. We'll ride up there, get us a drink, and look around. And leave him with a wagon, huh? Yes, sir, and he'll need a rifle, too. Mm. Franklin stays with the wagon. Now, what is Franklin going to do with the wagon when he gets it across, if he gets it across? You know where Split Mountain is next to the swamp? No. Well, Captain Rodriguez does. See? Si. Well, how do I know he won't desert us? Oh, no, Capitan, what are you saying? Huh? Rodriguez is my man. He wouldn't desert me. See, si, amigo. And you and me, we'll be side by side. Shall we go, Captain? Yeah. On the red. On the red. Pardee been in yet? Who? Theron Pardee, sometimes calls himself Colonel. Never heard of him. 16 on the red. Let it ride. <laughs> hey, querida. Hey, como esta? Bien, gracias. Donde esta mi amigo Pardee, eh? No comprendo. Ah, you buy me think? In a little while. Five, right again. All bets down, we go around. One more time. Where's Al? Where's your bet, Jim? Al, you say? The man who owns this place. I own this place. And so far, mister, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, Al does. Maybe that's why he died. You don't say. I didn't even know he was feeling poorly. 23, red again. You got $40 on the red, mister. What's your pleasure? One more time. Let's get ourselves a drink. Terribly sorry indeed. He said he was sorry, sir. Now you sit down. 28 flat. You lose, mister. That comes as no surprise at all. Are you accusing no, me of having a... Oh, nothing like that. We'll have whiskey and three glasses, please. Ain't got no more whiskey. Ain't got no beer either. Franklin? <laughs> Everybody relax. Oh. Now, I want you to listen to me. Real careful now, huh? Are you listening? Uh-huh. That's good. Now, 
I want a bottle of whiskey and three glasses set right up here. Eh? Now, come on, you get them right now. Come on. Get them out there. Oh, friend, friend, you're not listening. I said one bottle and three glasses. That's right. Now, I want you to pour careful. I don't want you to spill any. That's right. That's one. Here you are. And one more to go. There it is. Now. Gentlemen. Here's to the union. <clears throat> now, friends. Just keep the peace. Each man in his own pew and we'll be taking our leave. No Rodriguez, no wagon. That's right. Your man's been and gone. He got the wagon across and he left a clear track. heads right into that swamp. We've lost five hours and it's gotten safe and cut. Well, Captain, we could have lost a lot more. Indian ponies, unshot. Let's head on in. Nobody can get that heavy wagon through there. Maybe Rodriguez could. Yes, sir, Captain.
Now drop it. Oh, gracias a los santos. It is you, amigo. I am glad to see you. Drop it. But did? See. Si. And I uh, thank you for taking that shot at oh, But I did not know it was you, amigo. Stay where you are. In the mud? In the mud. Well, I do not understand. Ah, Capitan. So you're a long way from Split Mountain. Where's the girl? Gone. Gone? Well, gone where? Well, she tried to give me to the Apache, that one. See, si, see, si, it is the truth. We crossed and were waiting by Split Mountain. There was the sound of horses. I knew it was too soon to be you. Then I heard the Apache talk. She called out to them. I put her head in the water. Did you drown her? That is my sincerest hope, amigo. Huh? How many were there? You will forgive me. I did not wait to count them. You know, amigo, I think the captain there was a little worried that you took this wagon for yourself. Huh? Oh, Capita. <laughs> and you, compadre, what did you think, eh? I wondered. All right, let's get this wagon moving. Can I get out of the mud? Yeah, I get out of the mud. Nabas, Natiste, Si in the Atlo, in the Nihi Nisha. She waited for us to come with the wagon and we came. She has the bait, this one.
madre de Dios. Any orders, Captain? You were right. About her? Or everything? Long about sundown, they'll be picking us off one at a time. And we'll be sitting here waiting for orders. <laughs> Captain, you must have studied a situation like this at West Point. I'll bet you were the first man in your class. That's right. <laughs> mm. We got nothing to worry about. You'll live to 100 and die in the bed of some muchacha. <laughs> <laughs> that is not very funny, my friend. <laughs> There's only one thing that worries me, Captain. That detail that was guarding those guns that were stolen. Now, who was in command of that detail? Was it you? I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame to die out here in a place like this and blight a great career. You are stupid enough to become a general. Now don't you worry about it. You just live long enough to see it. Just might be trying to draw them off, Captain.
captain thought it'd be better until you came back to yourself again. Ah! Who hit me? You were clean out of your head. All right. No more problems. Captain? This day is tied. Well, Captain, I got a bottle in my saddlebag. Do you mind? In this bottle. Amigo, how do you feel, eh? Untie me, I'll feel better. Oh, I cannot break the rules. You heard the Capitan. Maybe I can help you hold the bottle, eh? Ah. Rodriguez, come here. See? Hey, you saved me some, huh? I don't know what this mom wants in this rain. Uh, ask if there's anything more we can do for the baby. Awe, Adesko, Ni? Awe, Adesh? Well, the baby is dead. Well, do you think she knows it? She knows. Are we? Daich Chen.
Rodriguez is gone. Is he now? He took one of the repeaters, too. Well, you don't look very surprised. Which way's he headed? Well, which way would you guess he was heading? You brought him along. Well, now that depends on just why Rodriguez left us. He might have decided that this mission was all over and that you wouldn't be needing him anymore. You got two mules to pull this wagon and you're not going to pull it very far. It sounds like you went out too. Now, I told you I'd find Pardee. When and where will you find Pardee? I can't say. Maybe in two more days, maybe. And maybe never. If what she says is right, tomorrow's going to be too late. Those Indians are going to have those rifles. Well, why don't you just go on back to Presidio? Now, you'd just like that, wouldn't you? And give up my big chance of becoming a general? Look, Lassiter, I liked what you did back there. Maybe you did save our lives. Now, I don't know what you got in mind. But if you want to get, then just get. Hmm. Now, have you got some idea that she is going to guide you? Well, I don't know. But you're going on anyway. Yep. To do what? To do what we came out here to do. Hmm. And you, you're going to go with it. Yeah. Well, I guess you're planning on becoming a general, too. Oh, that really would be something, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sergeant, I'd be obliged if you'd get me my horse. Good luck to you. Thank you, Sergeant, and good luck to you. About a half a day's ride southwest of here, the Rio Conchos. If Pardee's not operating out of Presidio, the Conchos is a good place to find him. You get to the Conchos. Follow it downstream, about three miles past the Big Bend. There's a box canyon, live oaks in it. Make good cover for this wagon. I find Pardee. I'll bring him to you. Thanks, Major. Major? And good luck to you, Captain. Good luck to you, Major.
Tranquilo, hein? Ei. You know many people here? Many. What is my dinero? You have heard of a man named Pardi, eh? Never. How about my money? He's a gringo. He's very rich. I'm a gringo myself, and I'm poor. And I too. On the side of my father. See, see. This is all I have to remember him by. He's very nice, no? Look. Solid gold. Yeah, and, the, and this was my mother's. She was a very nice lady, my mother. See? The chain is of gold, too. Eh? The whole thing. All of gold. Nice, eh? Senor, you want something to eat? No, gracias. Ah, Isabel! Si. Then lay for me, I stayed. Hey, give something nice to this hombre to eat, huh? Mi placer, senor. <laughs> Now, I do not wish to sell such fine things for a plate of beans. She serve you upstairs, senor. <laughs> Anita! Un momento! Brando! It's fantastic. Thank you, this girl, cuatro, pale, el west bed, andale. Primero, me gusta conocerlo. Es muy guapo. <laughs> Take the tequila. It would be a pleasure to be your guest if I did not have to find this party. Party? Si. You know, it seems to me I heard something of such a man. Yeah, bueno. Wait. Si, I wait. Una copa? You were right. There is such a man. But on a night like this, <laughs> they're going to take a little time to find oh, him. Oh, I will wait, hombre. Good man. Upstairs, make yourself comfortable, eh? Déjalo. Yo lo di primero. ¿Cómo? Me espero a mí. Yo soy más guapa. Es flaca. Es una paja. Flaca. Paja. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hey, tell me something. You think she is too skinny, this one? Go on, well, take them balls. What are you waiting for, amigo? Yeah, of course. No hay que pelear. Las dos sirven para Rodriguez. Go, you go. Ay, mira, tú eres muy guapa, no, no me dijiste que dije antes. Y a mí Jim! Chico! <laughs> I see that guy, and I believe was the crazy one here. Crazy one? He, he's upstairs. Go ahead, sit down. Hey, buy a drink, huh? What brings you here in the middle of such a night? Business? With Buddy. Now, how did you know? <laughs> Tonight, everybody trying to find Buddy, including the crazy one. Mexican, speaks English, got a rifle like this? Hey, there's gonna be any shooting, Jim. What are you talking about? It's my partner. I sent him on ahead. Where's Pardee? Well, his man is gonna be here soon. Well, in that case, I better wake that one up. He's not asleep. Anita! Dile que loco que vaca! <laughs> there's not one, there's two, Jim. La citer, mi amigo! Hey, come up, come, come up! Bring a bottle with you, eh? Come up! <laughs> he never told me once that he had a partner. He is a very careful man. <laughs> oh, that's why I picked him. Party's man gets here, you call me. Uh -huh. <laughs> come in. <laughs> I missed you this morning. Oh, you did not think I deserted you. Oh, my father's honor. Whoever he was. 
<laughs> Believe me, amigo, it was my plan to share with you. Just like now. <laughs> Which one of these beauties you like, eh? Hey, levántate. Deja que mi amigo te vea. Levántate. <laughs> This is better than with the Capitan, eh? That loco. Mm -hmm. Hey, you fooled me with your giving your word, amigo. Well, I said we we're going to bring this wagon to Pardee, and that's what we're doing, isn't it? See? Si. Hey, stop it. You drive me crazy. How much you think it is worth? Fifty bottles of gunpowder, eh? About a hundred American dollars apiece. Uh, <laughs> and we will share it? Just like brothers. <laughs> we will drink to it, amigo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, let's see, tell me, gran amigo. Who would have thought that night in the guardhouse we would be here like this? Rich man, eh? <laughs> yeah. But I knew it, I knew it. Remember that time? That time with the rope almost around my neck? You came. You came and I said... I said my luck had changed. We don't have the money yet. Oh, uh, but we will. Tomorrow or the day after. <laughs> the wagon is where we can find it, yes? And the captain. And Franklin. Oh, you did not kill them? Well, you left. They just let you go? I told them I was coming to find Pardee. You told them you were going to find Pardee? <laughs> You will, amigo. <laughs> Let's be dead. You and I, we will live like kings, amigo. Like kings. If we sell a wagon instead of blowing it up. Uh, to, to blow it up? What, what would that profit, eh? Everyone but us? See, so why should we do such a thing? Uh, uh, you make a joke, huh? <laughs> What do you think? I... I think you tried to fool me, amigo. Hey, Rodriguez. Si. Hey. Tell me something. Just one time in your life, did you ever think about doing something for somebody else, somebody beside Rodriguez? See, si. For you, amigo. For you. These friends. Well, now, you must be Lassiter. Who are you? That's Pardee's man, a new one. This Mexican I was sent here to see. We got a slight disagreement. I dissolved the partnership, and I speak for him now. Well, where's Pardee? 
Hand your weapons over to my men and follow me. Now, you can either hand them over or have them taken. Live or dead makes no difference to me. Pardee, sir. How dare you interrupt a military formation? Put yourself at attention. Yes, sir. Carry on. Fellow officers, who, after due deliberation, handed down the unanimous verdict, guilty as charged. Proceed. Fire squad, ready? Aim. Fire! Dismiss! Ah, James, my boy! It's good. It's good to see you. I thank you, sir. Come on, come on. I commissioned that man myself, and it turns out a petty thief. Major, at ease. Yes, sir. Well, what do you say now? A miracle, isn't it? Chihuahua instead of Louisiana, the Rio Conchos instead of the Mississippi. But here, Riverview, back to life again as it sprung from the ashes. Beautiful, isn't it? You know, you've no idea how happy I am to see you. Come, my boy, come. I've been expecting you, you know. How was that, sir? Well, naturally, your little escapade at Presidio was reported to me. We are well organized. It reminded me of our own conversation at the now late lamented Siete Lego. Colonel, may I speak with you? Out. I remember you looked at me as if you thought me mad. Sir, that's not so. Oh, no need to deny it, James. After all, I'm not offended. Here, you can see for yourself. Here it is all not a dream, but reality. Actual wood and stone, land and an army. Now, what do you say? That I would like to join you, sir, if you still want me. Tell me, James, what made you return at this particular time? You don't even know what day tomorrow is, do you? No, sir, I'm afraid I don't. I can't say I blame you. Not a very pleasant day to remember, April 9th. It was just two years ago tomorrow that Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox. With better soldiers, better men, a superior cause winning all the battles, Still, we did not win in the war. Have you ever asked yourself why, James? Because we were insufficiently ruthless. We allowed our own code of honor to destroy us. But 
tomorrow, on the anniversary of that battle, I shall dispatch at least 1,000 mounted men against the enemy. And they will be ruthless. I need not supply them, organize them, instruct them, or lead them. And yet they compare with the best troops I have ever seen. The Apache. Ah, James. James, my boy, the plan is flawless. I give the Apache these, they give me gold and silver for them, and attack the enemy without pause or quarter in the rear of his army, in his homes, as the enemy did to us. Well, Major, do you approve of my tactics? Sir, I think I can give you something that will make your tactics more effective. You mean a wagon load of gunpowder? <laughs> There on Pardee, the gray fox. Knowing you as I do, how in the world did I ever think I could fool you? Do you really know me, Major? Come. It was picked up late yesterday by one of my patrols. Well, sir, that comes as absolutely no surprise at all. The only surprise is that it took your people so long to find us when we were trying so hard to be found. on any of you that I can see. As I told Colonel Pardee, you must let yourselves be taken. Please, James, I'll talk first. Or better yet, let them speak for themselves. Well, what good did that do? They'd lie. Deserters always do. That tells me nothing. Renegades are always a risk. A man turns his coat once, what's to prevent him from doing it again? As for the black, why should he want to join us at all? Well, sir, I think... No, James. Let him talk. He's capable of speech, I assume. Yes, sir. Remove your hat. Well? Meaning no offense to you, sir. All I want of this is the money. And you? Money. But a lot more than you'd pay him. Ask the girl what she knows of these men. Ay, ay, Pegosian. Nito gente. Nito gente. Bishate. Taist aish pahogan. Nt toai nesinta. They try to make her lead them to the place where the guns would be traded to her people, but she would not do it. Yes, sir, we figured that. Wherever the trade was going to take place, that's where we'd find the highest bidder, whoever he might be. Open the canvas. See. Si. A ver, muchachos, abran las lonas. All right, I'll meet your price. Have the mules unhitched. We'll leave the wagon here for the time being. Tell them below to get a raft ready. We'll probably be shipping it the same time the guns go. What about our money? Later today, when I get mine. Twenty dollars an ounce, two hundred and fifty ounces make five thousand dollars. One hundred dollars a barrel. 
As soon as our customer arrives, we'll strike the balance and you'll be paid. Meanwhile, I think this calls for a drink. Attente! Attente! Hola, Ste. Guns all here as you give word. Here is gold, I promise. Fine. And this gentleman is Chief Bloodshirt. And here are the men who brought the wagon load of gunpowder. And uh, this is their leader, Major James Lassiter. I drink to our coming victory. You're not drinking, James. Lassiter. Lassiter. They tell me there is such a man, great killer of my people. Often I think, what kind of man is this Lassiter that hunts the Apache like the Apache hunts the White Eye? <laughs> now I look, I see, same as me, same hate here. Now you say Lassiter come to help Apache. Why? Why? Gold. That gold. No, not for a wagon full of gold. I will tell why Lassiter come. To kill and then to die. Can this be true, James? No. Yes! You know I speak truth. Here we're like brother. Same dead seed. Same alone. No wife in Hogan. No child. Only left to kill, to die. But new guns good. With new guns, Apache will kill, 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 till White Eye never forget what he take from Apache. Always blood of wife and child to remind him. Alto!
you out for a little stroll, Lassiter? Major Johnson, if you are going to pull that trigger, you had better aim good. Real good. <laughs> 